Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the physiologic anatomy of the coronary circulation. Basically the coronary blood vessels, the blood vessels, these are the coronary blood vessels. These are the coronary blood vessels. These vessels basically supply blood to the muscles of the heart. This is the heart. Here we have the uh, superior vena cava, the ascending aorta. This is basically the ascending aorta. And from the aorta, basically the aorta is uh, taking the oxygenated blood to the human body. So as soon as the aorta arises from the left ventricle, the coronary arteries also um, arise from the aorta, from the uh, base of the aorta. Now, basically there are two main coronary blood vessels. One is the right coronary artery, right coronary artery and its branches are the right uh, conus artery, anterior ventricular artery and posterior ventricular artery. Basically the anterior ventricular and posterior ventricular arteries are branches of the right coronary artery. Basically right coronary artery it is running it is running in the atrioventricular groove. Here we have the atrium here we have the right atrium which is basically receiving the deoxygenated blood. We can see here we have the superior vena cava and the deoxygenated blood is coming through the superior vena cava into the right atrium also this um, so, uh, right atrium is also receiving deoxygenated blood uh, through the inferior vena cava so the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava drain their blood into the right atrium so here this is our atrium and below the atrium we have the right ventricle somewhere or here and this space this space in which this right coronary artery is running this is the atrioventricular groove this is the atrioventricular groove and these are the branches the anterior ventricular branches are arising from the right coronary artery similarly the there are posterior ventricular arteries and which uh, basically uh, supply the posterior surface of the right ventricle now this right coronary artery is basically mainly supplying the right side of the heart it is supplying blood to the right side of the heart and in the posterior interventricular artery the posterior interventricular artery this is basically the artery when this right coronary coronary artery goes into the posterior interventricular groove this is the posterior interventricular groove when the coronary artery is going on the posterior side on the back side on the back side of the heart this is basically the front of the heart so the the muscles are also present on the back side which is known as the posterior so the dots basically the dotted uh, the dotted appearance is basically showing the posterior side on the blood waste and the blood supply to the posterior side of the heart. It is important to mention that the, the posterior interventricular artery which is basically running in the posterior interventricular groove. Basically here we have the right atrium and here we have the left ventricle. So the groove or the space between the two atriums on the back side, on the back side of the heart is known as the posterior interventricular groove and this posterior interventricular artery, it is basically running in that groove which is the interventricular groove on the back of the heart or the posterior surface of the heart. Now on the anterior surface of the heart, the biggest branch of the right coronary artery is the marginal artery the marginal artery and it is important to mention that in 80 to 90 percent of people 80 to 90 percent of people the right side or the uh, the the posterior interventricular artery is basically a branch of the right coronary artery this posterior interventricular artery which is basically also supplying the base of the heart it is supplying uh, the uh, 
this base of the heart it is basically in 80 to 90 percent of the people it is branch of this right coronary artery in 10 to 20 percent of the people this posterior interventricular artery it is branch of the left coronary artery so most of the people the 80 to 90 percent of the people are having the right dominance 10 to 20 percent of people 10 to 20 10 to 20 percent of people will have left dominance it is important because most of the time when we have the uh, blockage of the uh, blockage of the posterior interventricular uh, artery due to the blockage of the right coronary artery we get the uh, blocks the heart blocks and most of the people have the right dominance so mostly uh, in uh, heart blocks occur due to uh, blockage of the right coronary artery now another important artery of the uh, another Im important uh, artery which is supplying blood uh, to the muscles of the heart is the left coronary artery here we see this is the left coronary artery it is also taking its origin from the aorta and it is running in the anterior interventricular groove anterior interventricular uh, groove because here we have the two uh, ventricles on uh, the right the right ventricle and the left ventricle so the groove between the right and the left ventricle is the anterior interventricular groove when it goes on the back side it is known as the posterior interventricular groove similarly we mentioned that here we have the atrium and the right ventricle here the right atrium here the right ventricle r a r v so the groove between the right atrium and the right ventricle is the atrioventricular groove in which the right coronary artery is running and which is supplying blood to most of the right ventricle the left coronary artery is basically running in the interventricular groove the anterior interventricular groove it is because it is a groove or um, it is a groove or a line or a partition between the right ventricle and the left ventricle so this is basically a partition point between the right ventricle and the left ventricle and the left coronary artery is basically running into the uh, anterior interventricular groove the right coronary artery is running in the atrioventricular groove and the left is running in the interventricular groove the anterior interventricular groove now in one third of the people one third of the people this left coronary artery will end here it will end here at the apex but in in most of the people it will continue backward and it will meet the right coronary artery in the posterior interventricular groove in the posterior interventricular groove the most important branch of the uh, left coronary artery is the circumflex artery this is the circumflex artery now this artery is basically supplying the lateral parts this is supplying the lateral parts of the uh, left ventricle the anterior interventricular artery this is the continuation of the left coronary artery the late basically this is a very important artery the anterior interventricular artery it is continue it is continuation of the left coronary artery and it is running in the interventricular groove the circumflex artery is basically uh, going in the atrioventricular groove now here we have the lv l a sorry the l a left atrium here we have the l v the left ventricle here we have the left atrium so the circumflex artery is moving or going in the groove between the atrium and the ventricle and it is the atrio and uh, the atrioventricular groove the left atrioventricular groove here we had the right atrioventricular groove and here we had the um, here we had the right atrioventricular groove here we have the left atrioventricular groove and here we have the inter the anterior or the front appearance of the interventricular groove and on the back side we have the posterior or the back side of the interventricular groove 
so to summarize the blood flow or the blood supply of the heart is mainly through the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery the right and the left coronary arteries both takes takes its origin from the aorta it takes it takes its origin from the aorta and uh, they run on the right and the left side of the heart the right coronary artery is basically uh, moving go, going down in the in the right atrioventricular groove and its branches are the marginal branches and uh, it is continued as the uh, posterior interventricular artery in 80 to 90 percent of the people or the people with a right dominance now it also has the right conus artery uh, which is a branch of the uh, right coronary artery similarly it has the anterior ventricular branches the anterior ventricular branches and the posterior ventricular branches where it is supplying the anterior the front and the back of the right ventricle now the left coronary artery is also takes it takes its origin from the uh, aorta and its br main branches are the circumflex artery which is moving in the left atrioventricular groove it is supplying the lateral side of the left ventricle and the continuation of the left uh, coronary artery is basically the anterior interventricular artery which is basically supplying the front portion or the anterior surface of the left ventricle this artery is basically moving in the interventricular groove and in one third in one third of the people it ends up at the apex but in rest of the people it will continue and it will meet the right atrium uh, sorry it will meet with the uh, branches of the right coronary artery so that is about that's all about the uh, coronary uh, supply uh, the uh, basically the uh, anatomy of the coronary blood vessels or the blood supply of the heart muscles